We finally have a launch date. Mark your calendars guys, because Starship is finally ready to fly again. Thursday, May 22nd has been officially set for Starship flight test number 9. We've had to wait quite a while for this flight to finally get announced. But now it's on the horizon and I can't wait to hear the Raptor engines roar once again. This one is going to be epic and it's shaping up to be a crucial flight test for SpaceX's Starship. Maybe the most crucial so far. Why you ask? Let's find out. Hello and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks. Starship flight test number 8 happened on March 6 and well, it wasn't exactly a success. SpaceX did manage to catch the returning Super Heavy booster for the third time, which was absolutely stunning. But unfortunately, the upper stage Starship exploded just 9 minutes into the flight. And the same thing happened during flight test number 7. Almost exactly at the same time, the Starship exploded sending debris raining from the sky. That of course triggered an FAA investigation and caused further delays. Now, explosions are part of the game, right? Especially with SpaceX's unique approach to building rockets. They follow a rapid prototyping model. Build, test, learn and repeat. Even Elon Musk said, failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you're not innovating enough. That quote sums up how SpaceX operates, pushing boundaries through fast iteration, even if that means some spectacular failures along the way. However, the fact that both Starship prototypes exploded in a similar way raised some concerns. Both vehicles were the new Block 2 variants, representing a major evolution from previous designs. After those mishaps, rumors began to circulate that the current Block 2 variant had design flaws, especially in the engine section. According to SpaceX's official statement, the most probable cause for both explosions was this. Intense vibrations during flight, several times stronger than expected. These caused stress on the propulsion system, leading to propellant leaks. The leaks exceeded the venting capacity of the ship's attic area, resulting in sustained fires. Those fires damaged the engines that led to a loss of thrust control and eventually the vehicle broke apart. For flight test number 9, Ship 35 will be the test candidate. It had to go through two static fire tests because the first one didn't go entirely smoothly. Luckily, the second test went off without a hitch. Ship 35 will be launched by Booster 14, which already flew during test flight number 7, making this the first time SpaceX reuses a super heavy booster. 29 out of 33 Raptor engines on this booster are flight proven, having been used on previous missions. Unlike earlier tests, SpaceX will not attempt a booster catch this time. Booster 14 will perform a controlled splashdown in the ocean instead. So, everything is set for an exciting and important flight test. As always, excitement is guaranteed and I'm keeping my fingers crossed for a successful mission. May Ship 35 prevail and not go out in a fireball like its predecessors. If you want to watch the flight test live, the link to the official SpaceX livestream is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you soon in the next one. Ciao!